In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Welcome back everyone, we are at the top of day 14, the bottom of our second week on this challenge and things are going pretty well so far, we did a bunch of smithing yesterday and we're going to do some more today, I'm hoping that I can get up to 50 smithing and then do between a rock for some extra smithing, mining and defense XP uh, and that will be enough to knock off smithing for the rest of the journey I believe. So we won't have to worry about that again if we manage to get that done today. It's going to take a lot of uh, bars however so I'm thinking we're probably going to have to sell the blessed hide. I've been holding on to it but the truth is we don't really need it. It's just got a, a special place in my heart because of how much we uh, made use of it in that first season, but I think I'm going to have to sell it off because otherwise it's going to take time to make the money and we already have the money there available, so we should use it really and spend it for these skilling supplies that are going to help make the rest of this season much, much easier. So that's where my head's at at the minute. I have one and a, I have a birdhouse run to do but only one in the invent, so I'm going to have to run to the bank and then go back up to... It's a bit weird, that. Yeah, I'll figure it out, but uh, we're starting in a bit of a weird place, but we'll get there, and then uh, we'll go and work on our smithing some more. Okay, so we've done that one. We need to do the other three. I think the best way is going to be to just teleport and once we've got the uh, teak logs here and we've got dueling ring on so we can go straight to the bank after and reset. Actually I remember the clockwork today. Oh, there's another hunter level, 35. Oh shit, my headphones are behaving weirdly again. I should have rebooted my laptop. Okay, that's all the birdhouses reset. Okay, how many bars? We only have 50 left, so we should probably go straight to Varrock and get to work. But we will put wealth on so that we can go to the GE as soon as we need to in two invents. Just had a slight issue with the recording. Had to stop and start it. Pause the time while I was changing the settings. Hopefully we're good now. Right, start the timer again. Just have to keep an eye on that. Okay, Discord's open. That might help to close. But what we're looking at here, we've got some bird's nest to sell. We want to get our uh, dehyde and sell it if I can find it anywhere. And a pestle mortar so we can crush these up. Okay, get those on, get those on. All right, we actually have money again. Time to spend a bunch of it. Oh, come on, I need some iron bars, man. What the fuck? 249. All right, back down to half of that amount. Maybe we shouldn't be alking these plate bodies, but I feel like it's probably f fine. It's probably fine. CPU is really struggling at the minute. I don't know what's up with it. Okay, I feel like it's calming down a little. Sorry, a bit of a weird start today, folks. My uh, my PC was having some issues. I don't know what was wrong with it, but it was struggling. I feel like it's calmed down a little bit now, though. Hopefully it doesn't negatively impact the day's performance too much. Maybe a minute or so lost in just distraction with my failing system, but shouldn't be too much. 
I think I'm gonna have to save the steel plate bodies and high alk them. Because I don't want to lose money on those as much as I can. The reason I'm still making iron, by the way, is because we get more per action for an iron plate body than any steel iron other than a steel plate body. So, it's less smithing actions taken overall. And there's 46. Getting far too efficient at this. Kind of embarrassing. Okay, I reckon if I uh, do magic potion and high alk for the rest of these, I should have high alk unlocked by the time I'm done with the iron, hopefully. There's 47 smithing. I might have miscalculated a bit there, but we'll see how. We should be relatively close at least. Almost done with the iron now. If the videos are a bit shorter at the minute, sorry, there's not a lot I can do about it. Like, we're in a grindy stage, you know, we've got smithing, we've got mining, we've got fishing, all three very grindy skills that take a lot of time doing the same thing over and over. There's no getting around it. Uh, I'm, I've done slash. I'm doing for the relevant skills as many of the quests as I can to to skip out portions of the skilling, but there's going to be portions of the skilling and where they are it's going to mean less content for me to show in an, uh, an average video. You still get one video a day, it just might not have that much in it I guess if it's mainly uh, a skilling grind. It's very hard to say interesting things when you're making thousands of iron plate bodies. I'm sure you can appreciate. But the format of the series isn't going to change, it's still going to be one video a day with one hour progress a day. Now we're going to be way off the magic thing but we can still just keep boosting as we make the steel ones. Last full invent of iron. Will I get these high arcs off before my magic level slips? Oh, one more. Let's go. Perfect timing. Okay, we're gonna get ten of them, one of them to drink now. All of that. Bam. Not the iron first, please. Iron first, please. Gosh darn. There's the smithing level we needed. Now we can make these plate bodies as well. We actually get like almost 1k from each plate body now, so. They cost like 2k to make, but we're only losing like half our money rather than pretty much all of it. Probably get the giant dwarf up and see what we actually need for it. Not the giant dwarf, between a rock. Just so it's in my head and I know what I'm buying when I go to the GE. 
Wait, you can boost the smithing? Oh my gosh. I thought it was a requirement to start it. Well, should we just get to 49 and then boost it then? Because I don't think we actually need to go above. I'll try it. Yeah. We can always come back to the smithing if we need to. But I'm just going to go to 49 and then boost with a Dwarven Ale, whatever it's called. Oh, I got a Leah. There's nothing valuable I can get out of that, unfortunately. Oh, I thought it was 900 coins of plate, but it's actually 1200 each. It's even better, more than 1k back. Okay, so two more invents after this one will be at 49. We can boost with a Dwarven Stout. There is the 49 smithing. We still need about 4k more on top of the reward from this quest to actually get the uh, the 50 that we require overall, but there's no rush on it. I have literally never done this, but I'm desperate for a piss. In like what? 60 episodes, I've never paused the timer, unless there's been something wrong with my PC or connection or something. I need a piss. <laughs> Alright then, play, reset that, pick up some of this random shit. I'll take anything that's green. Right, gold bar, times four. Any pickaxe, we've already got an ammo mold. We have Ice Mountain Teleport. We've got a combat bracelet, we can use that. We need the Dwarven. I don't know how long we need the smithing for, so I'm just going to get two in case. That's literally all we need. Just get the other shit from the bank. Combat bracelet, glory, ammo mold. Does say you need gear later on. But I don't think that's till like the end. We'll probably be banking before that. Change this for actual gold bars. We would also like these into actual dwarven stouts, stamina, magic potions, rune jab heads, and an energy. I'll do teleporting to the blast furnace quickest way to wait no i can just go to Keldegrim one mile about but i'll have to pick up scurry first why oh my gosh what is my character doing do i not have the fire staff i'll grab it from the bank we'll be running past it anyway pretty much i hope i'm coming at this from the right side I believe I am, but oh shit, maybe we have to be on the other side, down the river. I might be I might be wrong here. I think I am wrong here. So okay, we'll go to the bank and then get the boat. What too long. Wait, we have our lava ball staff. That was weird. Maybe it was just because I was checking it while I was in the cart. Alright, so we just did a lap of Keldegrim for no fucking reason. Good stuff. Okay. Now we're good. Bit laggy over here. West Kelder. Oh, so now I actually have to go to... Fuck's sake. Where is the actual guy, though? I can't see it yet, because it's telling me to go to the... But... Lag's getting bad again! <laughs> oh, no. Wait, are these not the boat guys? Where's the... How do I... Did I do the wrong thing? Oh, I hate exploring this place. I don't understand it. Fuck this with a capital F. And a capital U, C and a K. 
Okay, ice mountain entrance. Uh, we'll go into the monastery. Into the dwarven mine. Search the mine carts. Don't remember doing this. There we go. Kill scorpions? I didn't bring any gear. It's a good job I'm a fucking menace, in it? Me and Scurry, we can deal with a scorpion. Oh, I have to kill multiple? Fuck. This might take a while. Oh, we got it. Mine some rocks. Okay, I guess I'll do iron. Uh, please? The fuck was that? That was so long! There's a mining level. Can I use a rune pick? There we go. Back up. Okay, return to Dondekin. So, I think we actually want to go in through the... If we fairy ring and go in the other way, through the Caligram entrance, that'll put us close to the boatman to get back to him. Uh, do we want gear as well? We're gonna need gear, are we? I should probably just get it. We don't have an awful lot. This is what we're working with. <sighs> a bit of food, I guess. Should I get a combat potion? I should probably get a combat potion. I should probably just get a couple so that I have them, because they're cheap as fuck, so, like, who cares? Not divine, regular. Okay. Monastery. So I think we want to go to AKS? DKs. DKS. Get that magic potion back on. Where's my... My staff, that's why. Actually, running low on nature runes. Don't quite have enough to uh, do all these jav heads. It's because I bought the jav heads and the nature runes at the same time, but then we ended up hulking a bunch of plate bodies as well. Uh, use a gold bar on him. On a furnace, we have to go to a furnace, and then we go back to him. Fuck. Um, nearest furnace. Camelot? That's Varrock? No. Edgeville. Edgeville. Uh, use the bar on the furnace. Yes. Cool. Back to Dondekin again, because he's a dickhead. That's an annoying thing. We'll lose our magic boost by using this pole. There is the 55 magic. We now have access to high level alchemy without our potions. Very nice indeed. Means we can high alk for all our magic XP from here and actually get some profit too. Okay, back to West Kelda. High alk the magic potion just to send it a message that we don't need it anymore. We may actually be able to finish this today, who knows. Don't think we'll get to the 50 smithing as well though. Anvil? There's an anvil here. Oh, that's why we need the boost. Banging. Call back under- Why are we going back to fucking White Wolf Mountain? What the fuck? Wait, White Wolf Mountain? That's not Ice Mountain. Oh shit. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, I'm right. What enemies do we have to fight here? Hazinian being a Bordenzan. Doesn't say what it attacks with. To be able to be in level 75. Six gold ores. Do not remove gold helmet. Oh, this is awful. Okay. Prepare for a fight, return to Dondekin. We do still need our thick axe. What an absolute unit. Okay. Six minutes left. Not sure how long this fight's gonna take. Probably not gonna have time for a birdhouse run to unless it's exceptionally quick. Gonna be just shy of the 50 smithing, but we'll have got this quest done, which was the main reason that we were trying to get the smithing up there. Great time for my headphones to start working. Please don't make this a long cutscene. Okay. Mind the gold, mind the gold, mind the gold, mind the gold. There we go. Well, never mind the fight. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get the ore in time. I don't know if this is different and I shouldn't be hitting it, but it's taking fucking forever compared to the other two. Helmet seems to become even heavier. The fuck? I'm just going to hit these. I don't know if we're going to log out here. Oh, we can. One more. Come on. One minute 30. I don't know if I should be starting this fight or not, but we'll see. 
I don't feel like this is a good idea. Wait, the mage. I'm just not hitting. Can I have a hit, please? There we go. Okay, this is not gonna happen. I'm gonna see if I can leave and log out here. You can't go back, the fire's become too hot. He off me though. Well, that was a bit of an odd one, folks. We almost got the quest done. Almost. We did gain 50,000 XP today, 31,000 in smithing. So this quest will put us 4,000 XP away from being done with smithing. We are almost done. We're going to need nine more mining levels after that. I think it's nine, maybe it's 53, but I think it's nine. Yeah, yeah, we just need to get to 50. Uh, and then fishing will be the next goal after the mining is done. And then we can move on to Euro's quest. So yeah, that is the plan. We got 18,000 magic XP as well. Finally got our high level alchemy online. Don't have to worry about that one anymore. And a couple more hunter levels as well from the birdhouses there. Pretty solid day, despite no quests completed. It was a long, long period of smithing there at the start, so it makes sense. If you enjoyed the video please do leave a like though it helps out a ton both letting me know that you enjoy what i'm creating so i keep doing it and pushing me into the algorithm so more people can find my content feel free to leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel so you see all the future content episodes of one hour limit locked valamore stuff i've still got on the way all this shit i'm sure i'll come up with eventually and not be able to stop myself from creating even though i really don't have time for it you want to see it all so subscribe to the channel That'll be all from this one though. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.